Hi, Nathan Seidel with Sparkfun Electronics today here to announce a new RTK product to the RTK product line. Up to this point, we've had a variety of RTK products that aid with high precision GNSS. So that gets you down to about 14 millimeters of XYZ. Uh, today, I'd like to announce a new product to that line that aids with some other things. This is the RTK reference station. The RTK reference station is designed to transmit correction data up to about 10 kilometers away. So that's the baseline, the distance between any rover that you may need to have high precision with where the base station resides. The reference station is effectively a base station that you don't need to build by yourself. It's a hardened ZF9P with an ESP32 as well as power over ethernet and a whole slew of other features that make this a really nice reference station and base station all in one. This is often referred to as a Coors or a continuously operating reference station. We've designed the firmware and the hardware to plug and go. Plug it in, get it set up, and it'll tick away for months or years to come. Now let's hook it up and see what it does. One of the powers of the reference station is the built-in power over ethernet. So today we've got a fully functioning unit with just an ethernet cable and a connection to the antenna mounted up on the roof. So it really eases installation if you don't have to run AC main power to whatever installation or, or shed you're trying to put your reference station in. So if we flip this around, we can see on the front, um, we're currently broadcasting to our N-Trip caster. We use RTK to go, but you can set up your own. You can use MLID. There's a variety of casters available. Uh, so right now we are transmitting our RTCM correction data once per second up to the cloud and any rover nearby can pull that data down and get really, really precise location. With your SparkFun RTK reference station, you can get set up in about 60 seconds with a process called survey in. That's where the device collects all the signals coming from the GNSS satellites and knows that it is static, knows that it is sitting still and tries to calculate where the antenna is located. That accuracy is about one meter. Uh, it's very quick, but it's not all that accurate. For more accurate readings, we do something called a, a full 24-hour survey where we capture data for 24 hours and then send that to a processing service such as CSRS, uh, the culmination of which is accuracy down to the millimeter. I surveyed the SparkFun antenna for about 24 hours, sent that data in, and received the position of the antenna within about three millimeters in X, Y, and Z absolutely phenomenal what they can do. Now with those coordinates, we tell the antenna where it's at and it begins transmitting its correction data up to the caster of your choice. In this case, we're using RTK to go and we can have a look at, there it is, Boulder One, Boulder Spark Fun One. Uh, we can see that this base station is actively transmitting and any rover can pick up that data and use it. A rover can be within about 10 to 20 kilometers of a base for that data to be valuable. The SparkFun RTK reference station can also act as something called an NTP server, network time protocol. This can serve as a time reference to various equipment on your ethernet network. Uh, so right now we've got it set up to NTP server mode and we're seeing uh, 31 satellites. We've got a time base that's approximately 26 nanoseconds off of the GPS signal. I can use my computer to get its time from the NTP server and we can see how accurate that is. So it takes a couple seconds for it to come back, but when we look at the offset, we are at approximately 206 microseconds off of a global synchronization. What this means is that you can deploy equipment all over the world, whether you're a data center or academic research or some sort of device that really, really needs to be synchronized, and we can use GPS and GNSS and the SparkFun RTK reference station to synchronize all those devices across the globe. While it may look like a 1990s amplifier in the back of a car, it, we're actually quite proud of how advanced and how the SparkFun reference station came together. Uh, check out the kit that'll get you started with everything you need to set up your own base station. And then transmits that data up to what's called <laughs> I'm going to get real technical real fast here. Uh, a hardened device to be... What did we do? We, we designed the roof. Do I even... Yeah, maybe we, maybe we cut that out. I don't even know. Okay. Yeah.